Hey guys, so as you know, I've been having this really weird idle issue on the D16Y8 and it's just, as soon as you release the gas, it starts to idle funny and almost stalls. Um, I contacted a guy on eBay that does chipping, um, like ro burning ROMs onto chips and selling chip kits for the P28 uh, ECU and I was asking him about chipping my ECU and putting in a D16Y8 uh, base map onto it and if it would run properly with that base map. He asked me what the issues were. Um, I told him that I've been having some idle issues. Um, he told me that regardless of the timing, because as you know, the D16Z6's timing is 16 degrees and the D16Y8's timing is 12 degrees. He says, regardless of the timing, the P28 should still run the D16Y8 smoothly. And this is based off his experience and he's a tuner and all that kind of stuff. So um, after doing some more research, reading on forums and all that, really I got nowhere. Um, there's not a lot of information about this. Every single person just says, oh yeah, you, you just gotta burn a base map to run the, the engine properly. I get it, the engine's probably not gonna run as efficient as it should uh, with the P28 because the, the, the maps are different for the D16Y8 and the D16Z6. But um, it should run smoothly, um, at idle at least. So um, from what the guy on eBay told me is to adjust my timing at the distributor. So since the base map requires a 16 degree timing, I adjusted the distributor to 16 degrees timing. It's still running kind of weird. Um, still having that hunting kind of idle, um, stuttering and almost kind of failing. So he also asked me, okay, well check, do you have new spark plug wires? Uh, do you have new spark? Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is basically change my spark plug wires. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit um, the kind of spark plug wires I currently have on the vehicle. I thought they were OEM when I bought the motor. The, these were the old wires that came with the motor. I actually did not replace those. Everything else I did replace, the spark plugs, the cap, the rotor, um, these are all replaced in the distributor and the spark plugs of course um, so there's no reason why that uh, those components would be no good so the spark plug wires are my next kind of thing i've tested it the spark plug wires are below 25k ohm um, so as per honda manual that is actually within spec and it should work um, but the guy on ebay said try a brand new set of wires anyways I went out, I bought a brand new set of wires, got some NGKs, um, and we're gonna try it on this right now to see if it makes a difference on the idle. Um, I'm hoping it's an issue, but it may not be. Also, he suggested that I clean my ICV. I have cleaned it several times, so I don't know if it's the ICV or not. The ICV that I am running on the motor, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my previous videos or not, but it is from a, a old 92 to 95 D series. So I'm not sure if it is the right one for the Y8 or not, but it bolts up, the holes match, all IACVs kind of work the same. I know the part numbers are different, but there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Um, I am going to order a brand new IACV as well from, from eBay. Um, they're those cheap non-OEM ones. I'm not paying $500 for an OEM one. Uh, these ones are only going for about like 45 to 50 bucks Canadian. So it's better off getting a aftermarket one. A lot of people say that's not going to fix the issue, but um, we'll try it. I did take my ICV out again, and this time I cleaned it like crazy and really covered it up in that carbon cleaner. Um, you'll probably, you probably saw the video of that, but um, I've also tested the ICV and it pulses properly. So this... OBD1, IOCV should have no problem running on this motor. Um, unless it is actually different, pulling some different frequencies, I, I don't really know. Um, so I'm gonna try the NGK wires right now um, and also bolt back up my IOCV. Uh, I left it to dry um, and, and then we'll fire it up and see if it makes a difference. Here are the wires that I got. Um, and these over here are the wires that I, I thought were stock, 
but they really don't have any um, branding or anything on them. It just says seven millimeter high temp radio suppression cables. Um, couldn't find a brand anywhere. I thought they should have a brand if they were OEM. I believe it was Mishimoto that made made them the OEM plugs, uh, wire plugs. I'm not sure, but let's pull one out and take a look. Yeah, there's there's no branding anywhere. Uh, usually, it might be stamped on here. So, I mean, the cables. I inspected them. They all look good. No gashes. No cuts. All within twenty five k ohm, like way under. It it measured out to be within like seven um, k ohm up to about fifteen. Um, that's that's the max that I got on here. Um, so they're they're very low in resistance. So so I'm not really sure. Um, there's really no brand on this, and other people are telling me that this probably should have a brand. These are probably some generic knockoffs. So. Well, let's just replace them with NG case and we'll go from there. So to replace the wires, obviously you want them to line up properly. Um, make sure it's lined up with the distributor. The good thing about NGK wires is that they are labeled. So as you can see, they have one. And this one says two. So they are labeled to correspond with the cylinder as well as the firing order on the distributor. So just make sure that it is attached to the correct um, part on the distributor. Otherwise, you, it's probably not going to fire up. So what I like to do is basically put them in loosely and then adjust them afterwards to, so that they clip in properly to the, the OEM clips. So that's the spark plug wires that they are attached loosely. So I'm going to just push them in right now and Make sure they all firm up and then we'll we'll attach the ICV and then we'll fire it up. Also, if you're curious about the, the order of the wires, so if your distributor is facing this way with the flat end over here, one, two, three, four. That's the order. So you check the manual online or whatever, um, it would be one, two, three, and then four on the bottom there. All right, so there's the new wires. They actually look pretty good. I mean, even if this doesn't work, I mean, I'm keeping these wires because it looks better than the black wires that it came with. And they're new, so. All right, so let's put in the ICB and give it a fire up.
As you can hear, the engine is still idling weird. The IACB and the wires didn't make a difference at all. You'll even hear the engine stall out in just a moment. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you want, please comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.